Hey, this is Magnar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Run 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make custom effects that you can use in your mods uh, to do things which might not already be available with the effects that Vanilla uses. Uh, and the way so let's get straight into it. And what we're going to do is you jump into Assembly Kit first, and we're going to go all the way up to or down to Campaign bonus values and you can see here there's a whole bunch of them for different things so we've got battle context agent bonus value ids basic bonus basic ids basic is just kind of like a generic where a whole bunch of stuff is uh, and we're going to have a look compare them to where they're going to go so these campaign bonus value uh, tables they do not exist in our data roam 2 pack uh, they are just there in the assembly kit, so we have to look, refer to them in the assembly kit rather than looking for them in the data room two pack. Uh, now they will link, they will be referred to in these, which we will use in our actual mod pack, the effect bonus value uh, tables. So here we have the effect bonus value agent junction where we create effects uh, for agents. Uh, and you'll see here, bonus value ID. This column will link to the entries in the bonus value IDs agent. So here we can see a whole bunch of different ways we can mod uh, create effects for agents. So we can change the, uh, the cap of agents. It gives it a description. Uh, zero modifications, availability, all this other stuff. And they are also used in this table here, cap, recruitment level, availability, availability cap, recruitment level. There we go. That's all there is. So when we create our own effect, let's jump in and uh, do that now. Okay, I'm going to uh, create a new pack. So I'm just going to open up an old pack uh, to start off with. Okay, new, and we'll call this, uh, we'll, we'll do the naming of it later. Well, first I'm going to add, okay, the effect that we're going to make in this tutorial will be to create an effect which we can use in effect bundles to increase the army cap. So generally the army cap is uh, linked to the level of Imperium in the game. Uh, but we And there's no effect in game currently uh, that in the vanilla that allows you to increase that army cap via other means. But uh, we can make an effect based on these campaign bonus values. Uh, that does exactly that. And I've actually already done it and released it in uh, my politics effect mod. So I'm just going to pretty much copy exactly what I did for that in this tutorial and show you how to do it. So first we're going to go add from pack. I do add from pack all the time because it creates the directory. I don't really have to go add empty folder, add empty folder. But if you add from pack, it puts it in the direct right directory straight away. So I always do that. And we're going to want to grab a few tables. So we're going to need the effects table. So right click on that. And for the army cap, we're going to need the effect bonus value basic junctions table. This one here. Uh, and then we're also going to need some text, so, but that's in a different pack file we're going to grab that from. So let's just go OK with that for now. And we'll save that and make a name. We'll call it Army Cap Effect. Good. OK, so we, we need only three things for this. Uh, I'm not going to attach it to an effect bundle in this uh, tutorial. That'll be covered in other tutorials depending on uh, what you want to attach it to. Uh, the the scope because the scope will change depending on where you're using 
how you're using the uh, the effects. So I, it's, I'm not really going to go through all the different uh, ways to use effects, you know, seasons and uh, army stances and all those kind of things in this tutorial. I'll do, I'll do tutorials and separate ones for those. Uh, but the effect... Uh, the effect scope that I used for this one in the political effects mod was this faction. If you're familiar with your effect scopes, uh, then you can use that or some variation of that depending on how you're using it. Okay, so let's just grab the last one. So you go add from pack. I'm going to grab the uh, go to local EN Rome 2. If you don't have this, if you don't have the English version, you will find it all in the in your own. So FR for French or whatever it is. And we want to get the effects dot lock if you've got the English version. So double click on that and it's added. Okay, so save that. Now let's go in and rename everything. So let's rename this, whatever you want. I'm going to call it mag. I always, all my tables pretty much had the prefix mag. Of course for magna, but you don't have to do that, of course. Pick whatever you want. Okay, let's save it again. Okay, so here we got all the uh, vanilla effects here that affect um, in the basic junctions. We don't need those, we can just make our own. So we're going to delete them all, except for one. I'm just going to keep that top line because I'm going to override it with the uh, new effect. So we're going to call the new effect uh, mag recruitment slots. Oh, not recruitment. What are we doing? We're doing army cap. Army cap. Add. So we know it's not uh, modifying by a percentage. We know that it's actually increasing the army cap by a fixed number. So that's why I put add in there. That's just for me. Now the bonus value ID we're going to grab from the assembly kit. So we go into here. We go campaign bonus value IDs basic. Uh, we're going to find the key that we want. You can look at the descriptions here of what they'll do, or you can just try find a key which you think is right. Now, not all of these are guaranteed to work. Uh, it's a lot of trial and error, and also working with your scopes to see how they actually work. Uh, a lot of testing is required, which I've done for this recruitment, this uh, army cap slot thing already. So uh, you don't need to test that, but if you're going to use it with a different scope as opposed to this faction, or use it differently to how I've used it, then you may need to change that uh, effect scope. If you're not familiar with effect scopes, I have a tutorial on effect scopes already and you should uh, check that out to get familiar with it because when you're working with effects, they are very important. Okay, so this is called... Uh, army, oh, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, army cap, I think it's called. There it is, army cap bonus. Bonus added to army cap used at faction bonuses. So it kind of gives you a hint there as to in the description as to how your uh, effect scope should work so and how the effect works. So it's an effect which works on the faction level. You can see other ones here. Uh, this effect here is on the on a character kind of level, region. Uh, and so your scope will have something to do with characters or regions or just the faction in general. Okay, so let's copy this key here. So copy the army cap bonus and we'll jump into our PFM. Paste it in there. Now we're going to copy the effect and we're going to go into the effects table. Uh, now the priority I think is to do with the ordering so I'm not going to worry about that just yet or in this one. And then we also have these icons. I'm not going to bother creating new icons in uh, this tutorial. I'm just going to override existing icons. You can see there already the the, the location of where you can find those icons in the uh, game files. So you don't need me to go and show you where to grab them. So there are new UI effect bundles, military. So yeah, let's use that one there, the military positive, military. Oh, it's positive for both. Okay, let's find something with negative and positive. Okay, here's one. Let's do this one. Okay, so we've got... Army positive, army negative, great. So I'm going to delete everything except this.
we don't have to have icons for it. That's completely up to if you want to have an icon or not. Okay, now with the effect, we're just going to paste on what we've already done. Priority, um, whatever you want to put that, I don't know, it doesn't really. It's just for the orderings of, of all of the effects, which their position will be. <coughs> okay, so we can save that now. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is we have to go to the effects here and we have to uh, make a new effect uh, text, otherwise there'll no, be no text. And all we do here is we can just take the top line. So we go effects, description, underscore, and everything after the underscore, we want to paste our new effect over. And then we can come in here into the text. And in the text, you can see this thing here, this percentage plus and percentage percentage. That means uh, anything between... Uh, so this means that'll be a plus to a percentage of construction costs. But if we look down here, you can see recruitment slots, percentage plus N, which N being the number that we'll uh, put in our effect bundles to effect junctions. So the value of the, uh, the effect increase or decrease. Uh, if we do percentage plus N, it will mean uh, just a fixed value rather than a percentage being displayed. So let's just copy that and rename it uh, plus N army slots. Uh, army cap okay and we can delete everything else not necessary save it and there we have uh, an effect that should work again with other effects you'll have to test it to see if it actually works and it, again it all to do with your effect scopes now to get that to work we just put in an effect bundle to effect junction uh, assign the effect to it, give it the right effect scope, uh, and then test it in game. All right, quick and easy to do that. So have fun going through all these different co combat, uh, campaign bonus values tables and finding out which new effects can be made. There's quite a few that you can make in there. There are some which uh, aren't necessarily new effects, but more new categories of effects. So there's one there, for example, army uh, f food consumption. So if we, where is it, food? So you've got here, food consumption for armies. Now that works as far as I've been able to test uh, exactly the same as all other kind of food consumption. But the difference would be that it would have its own unique, uh, I guess in, in, in the summary stat, uh, statistics, it'll have its own separate kind of area where it would be located. Uh, but I, I could not find out, I couldn't figure out how it was actually used differently. Uh, to all these other ones because it's still used at the province level. That's how all food is pretty much calculated. All right, so uh, happy modding, and I'll catch you next time.